Your microphone is off. It's oh moving. my God, it's the truth. <laughs> Not only do I, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I, in, in the previous classes, I, I, I think out of all the weeks, I only had one really bad day with the internet. It got so bad. Remember, uh, Jose? It just got so bad that I couldn't even, you know, I couldn't even present what I wanted to present because the internet was just so bad. Um, I think I think Jorge was also there. Jarvin was also there. All right, guys, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, let me go ahead and present one more time. Here we go. And I'm going to present the, the presentation. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see loud and clear? Yes. Yes, all right. Yes, we can. So these are examples of short vowel sounds. Okay. And let me let me see. I think I, I got the wrong ones. Let me also double check because I can't remember if it was the Oh, it was the wrong one altogether. Okay. I had the long one for you guys, and I had the. But I think this will this will work. So I want you guys to kind of review the words, sound them out by yourself, right? As you're moving along, just you know, just make the sounds yourself, like bed, or beg or bell and we'll come back to it and we'll practice it real quick so do me a favor just do it on your own All right, how are we doing so far? Now that you guys did it on your own, I'm gonna go ahead and voice them out and you just follow along, right? And you could do it without the microphone. You can turn on your microphone, it's up to you, right? So here we go, real short, remember, these are short, these are quick. Bed, beg, bell, bed. Ben. Bell. Set, men, men, bed, peg, hell, pen, met, 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 ten, 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 leg, leg, yell, yell, den, den, bet, bet, yen, yen, red, red, egg. Fell. 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 Can. 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 Get. 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 Zen. 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 Fed. 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 Peg. Fed. Peg. Peg. Well. 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 Gen. 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 Pet. 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 Ren. 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 Wed. 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 Leg. 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 Bell. 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 Can. 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 Yet. Can. Yet. Yet. Pen. 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 Men. 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 Wet. 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 Ten. 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 Bell. 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 Beg. 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 Led. 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 Med. Egg. 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 Cell. 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 Den. 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 Met. 
met, 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 when. When. Okay. There is also, there's a, there's a few rules that we observe, right? Uh, let me go ahead and stick. I was able to find what I was looking for. There it is. So let me go ahead and put these on here. And so what happens with some of these letters is that there's also a rule on the sound on where the letter ends. For example, if there's an E and then there are one, two letters and then there's another E, there's a certain sound that it makes. So let me go ahead and send that right there. And then, so it's not 12, right? It's one, two. So sorry about that. Also, if there's an A and then there's a couple of letters in the middle and then you get the E, that also creates a different sound. And, and there's like these rules that go along with these sounds. And it's supposed to be the letters that separate these, right? So if there's one or two letters in between, there's a certain sound that it should make. And it should either be like a sharp E or it could be like that long E sound, which is the one that we're gonna look at right now. And so these particular words have the long E sound and they're like really, really close together or are double E's or E and A. And they pronounce the same long E sound. So for example, follow me, follow me. Seed. 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 There we Seed. go. There we go. The next one is feed. 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 So when you're starting out with the long E, I want you guys yeah. to really kind feed. of spread that. There we go, right? Feed. Because feed. with time, eventually you're going to get rid of that. And then it won't sound that long, right? Feed. But you have to get used to it. Need. 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 Read. 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 Weed. Need. Weed. Weed. Uh oh. Jeep. 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 La jeepeta, Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> Deep. 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 Keep. 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 Beep. 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 Weep. 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 Feet. 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 Teeth. 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 Heel. 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 Real. Real. Eel. Eel. Meat. Meat. Bee. 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 Here. 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 So now, even though right now we're making that long sound, once you have a conversation and you say things like, hey, can you go see that deer? It sounds a lot shorter, but at the same time, since you are remembering to make it a little bit longer, it does sound different than just having a, a, a really short sound for the E. So see the deer right and then so when you're having that conversation you guys will be able to say it and people will really notice right uh what do you want me to do i want you to go see the deer and then you know there you you can see it and you can hear it all right now here comes the other sound which is the ea sound it is also a long sound so it's a c c c e P. E. P. E. Meal. 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 Real. Real. Peel. 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 Seal. 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 Deal. Deal. Seat. 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 Neat. Neat. Meat. 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 Heat. Meat. Heat. Feet. 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 Beat. 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 Beak. 
Leak. 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 Tear. 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 Fear. 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 Deer. Oh, deer. deer. It's a different yeah. type of deer, right? This one is the animal. Yeah. And this is like you yeah. saying, oh, my God. Oh, deer. Oh, deer. Beep. Deer. Beep. 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 And then leaf. Leaf. Beep. Beep. Okay. So now the E, long, very long E, right? The EA sound. And then the one that we had seen before, which was the short very short, very short E sound. There you go, right there. Okay, so these are some of the examples. And now this is the pronunciation for the EY and EA, because that's the third one that you guys get to see, right? Anything that ends with an EY. For example, key. Donkey. 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 Monkey. 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 Bally. Monkey. Bally. Chimney. Chimney. Chi, chi, como el chi. Tengo buen chi yo el día de hoy. Chi. Chi. Chimney, right? Chimney. Chimney. Kidney. Ay, que me duele kidney. la kidney. 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 Mm. Pulley. 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 Hockey. 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 Do you guys know what a pulley is? No. 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 La, there's like a little wheel that you put in a little, I want to say it in a rope, and then you throw a rope over it and you use it to pull. Oh. And so that's why they call it a pulley because you can pull. Right, so it's a no, pulley. In, in, in español, ¿cómo es? Polea. Polea. Okay. Polea. Okay. All right, all right, you got it. Pulley, la polea. Polea. I think that's how you spell it. I hope that's how you spell it in Spanish. I hope. All right, and then we have the EAs, right? Which we already had a whole bunch of words, but I think some some here we can double check. Um, eat. 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 Oh, you're so Eat. cheap. 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 Bring me the meat. 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 At least give me a hug. At least. 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 Clean. 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 Or dream. 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 There we go. Dream. There we go. Dream. And so all of them at the end of the day they have the really long E sound. So it's either short E, long E. Well, that's it, right? That's pretty much it. So even if you guys see an EY at the end, the sound that you guys are gonna make is gonna be a lot louder with the E. So instead of you guys saying, for example, K right here, you are going to say key. Mm -hmm. key. Same thing with monkey or donkey. Monkey is donkey. Now, there are some words that have a Y at the end, but the sound is a little bit different. For example, when you guys say play, or when you guys say played, played. even though there's an E there, you're not going to follow the long E or short E pronunciation, <clears throat> you are going to follow something a little bit different along the lines of the rules. So let's talk about those. I think that's where we left off last week. Here we are. Okay. So everybody good with the E, right? Remember, there's a short E, long E, and then the AE and the EY also make the long E sound just to kind of give you guys a review on that right here. EY, EE, and EA make the long sound. All right. 
Okay. So now, something so simple as an ED, why is it so complicated, right? Sometimes it sounds like a T. Sometimes it sounds like an ID. And sometimes it sounds like a D. Teacher, what's the correct way of saying it? Well, it all depends on the word that you want to say, okay? So let's talk about them independently. Let's say we wanted to talk about the sound, not the spelling, not the letters. I want us to focus on the sound. What is the sound that I want to make? When you guys hear words like wanted, did you guys hear the ED that I pronounced? Wanted. Now, it could the, be like wanted. Yeah, well, see, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. When the faster you say it, the less you will hear the ED, and the more you are going to hear the ID. Oh, that guy is wanted. Now that changed. Now it's an ID. So depending on how fast you are saying it, you're going to hear things a little bit different. Oh, I wanted to buy it. I wanted to buy it. So whenever you guys hear or whenever you guys see a word that ends in this particular format, right? Wanted or needed. Remember the ID sound. Oh, I needed that. So instead of actually saying needed, right? Because that's that's the way it would really sound if you were really pronouncing it like with an ED. You are swapping it out and you're going to use the ID. And so the faster you use it, the more the ID will come up. I want it. I need it. A ver, let's hear you guys say it. I want to hear that ID sound. Wanted. Needed. Wanted. Needed. 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 There we Needed. go. There we go. You guys got it. Okay, good one. Good one. Now is the T. T, T, T is very sharp. <laughs> that helped. Helped. Así, así. Así, va. Que se escuche el Helped. Helped. Ahí está. Now, right now we are over pronouncing it, and that's okay, right? But with time, once again, once you guys, once you guys start and implement it into conversation, it disappears and it just becomes that natural sound, right? Helped. Helped. Looked. 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 Nift. 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 Left. 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 Washed. Washed. Have you guys ever heard people say that word and it sounds like they're saying it like that? Washed. Because that's the way they're that's the, that's the way you're supposed to pronounce it. There's a T sound there. Washed. Washed. Oh, I was watching you. I watched you. Watched. I kissed you. We kissed. We kissed. We danced. Danced. We fixed. 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 Okay. Now. The D, this is the actual D sound that you guys will make. And of course, there is the ED sound that does come out. All right. So we will have some cases where you guys will hear the ED. So called. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Used. Used. Amazed. 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 Rubbed. 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 Claimed. 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 Okay. So, teacher, how do I know 
what is what? Because if you look at the letters, there's an ED right there. There's an ED, there's an ED, there's an ED. What, what the hell is going on, teacher? Oh, man. <laughs> well, to add to that confusion, right? <clears throat> there is voiceless and there are voiced. And then so that's what that's what we're going to start off with, right? <clears throat> so you have the ED, but you don't sound it out. It's voiceless because the T takes over. And then there's a, there are cases where you do use the D and then it is voiced and you can hear it. And that's what we were doing with our, you know, when we were saying called the. Now, when you're having a conversation with somebody, right? No le vas a decir, you're not going to say, hey, hold on, let me call the, my friend, right? You're not going to do it that way. But once again, because you are in a conversation and you're putting all of this stuff together, it actually the sound that you make will make a lot of sense because you are talking it out right you are saying the things that you're supposed to be saying and pronouncing them correctly like i called my friend yesterday and so once again once you go faster the the you know the the high pronunciation or the long pronunciation starts to disappear so what is the rule the voice sounds use the vocal cords and they produce a vibration of or humming sound in the throat, right? So if you guys talk, if you guys put your finger in your throat, uh, right? And you guys say the words, helped, helped. There's no vibration, helped. I mean, se mueve la manzana porque se tiene que mover, but there's no, there's no vibration, helped. Now, once you do that with a voice, look at look at look at called, called. Uh, called, called do you guys called. feel everything kind of shake? Everything yeah. moves. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I hope it. I hope it did move, right? I, la manzanota aquí del teacher. Man. Now, words that end in a vowel sound use the D pronunciation for ed. Okay. For example, followed, enjoyed, played, tried, and continued. That's still the D, just the D sound. The pronunciation of words ending in ED depends on the final consonant sound. There are three ways to pronounce the ED. At the end of the word in English is id, the t, the t sound, and the D, right? Id, T, and D. And this is what we just saw. So, to kind of come back to this, let's repeat it one more time and see if we can get the sound. Wanted. 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 Needed. 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 Okay, sharp T. Helped. Sharp T. Helped. Oh. Looked. 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 Sniffed. 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 All right, let's try the D. Called. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 All right, good, good, good. Let's go ahead. Let's go try to see if we can do it from here as well. Wanted, helped, Wanted. and called. Wanted. 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 Helped and called. Wanted. Wanted. And called. Needed. Needed. Looked. 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 Cleaned. 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 Infected. 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 Relaxed. 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 Closed. 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 There you go. There you go. Okay. So now, voice consonants versus voiceless consonants. A voice consonant or a sound means that it is used or it is using the vocal cords and they produce vibration and humming sound in the throat when they are set, right? And this is what we did with the finger. You can put your finger on your throat and then pronounce the letter L. You will notice a slight vibration in your neck, throat. That is because it is voiced. It's a voice sound. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. L. <laughs> L. L. Sure. May I ask? you a question yeah you know what i remember once that i was taught i was taught sorry um 
that someone told me that there is like a trick. If you, for example, just put your finger on the on the letter E, no, on the letter E in the word, they automatically reproduce the sound that you want to get. For example, I don't know if you can put the um, slide again. This one yeah, here? For example, yeah. For example, in the word look. No, in the word look, yeah. If you put your finger, if you on the, yes, and you say look, Then it makes the it makes the T sound. Yeah, automatically it is supposed to sound like the, the look, same thing. Look, 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 look. look. If you just look, put your finger on the letter E. Ah, uh, yes, look there. You don't sound it. Look. Look. And you you made the same thing with the word that ends in D sound, like cleaned. Cleaned. If you cover the because, E? Uh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because cleaned. the combination, the combination of the cleaned. N and D sound mm -hmm. make that sound that you want to get. Yeah, the case, but it I worked. Don't know if it's true. <laughs> no, it did. It worked on this one. It worked on this one. Because if you yeah. cover the E, it says cleaned, right? Yeah. Leaving the E cleaned. But this one look looked. Yeah, it did. It did make it looked. Look because of the K and the D sound. Look, yeah, automatically sound like, yeah. like hey, <laughs> nice, nice man. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll put that to good use. All right, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, so now voiceless sounds. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, these sometimes called the unvoiced sound is when there's no vibration in your throat and the sound comes from the mouth area. Pronounce the letter P. And you will notice how it, you know, it's more in your mouth, right? So let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's see. P. Ah, oh, P. There's no, there's no vibration in my throat. P. P. Way different than when you do the L. L. Right. P. L. P. Ah, uh, L. No, there's, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. All right. All right. So some of the rules. If the last letter of the word is spelled with D or T, the ED is pronounced as a separate syllable with an ID sound. Ah, there it is, right? It rhymes with kid and lid. For example, wanted, we did the exercises, right? Wanted, waited, needed, folded, ID. The last letter of the word, if it's spelled with a D or a T, then the ED becomes ID. Weighted, you guys see it? There's weight, there's the T, and then there's the ED, but that means that the sound is not gonna be ed, it's gonna be id, wanted, needed. All right, everybody good with that? Yeah, okay, yes. yes. All right, then the T, how do I do the T? If the last consonant of the word is voiceless, then the ED is pronounced as, is pronounced as a T. Be careful not to create an extra syllable or ID sound, so be careful with that. And I think this is what we're talking about. The word is talked, right? but it's gonna sound like you're saying talked without the E and the D. Instead, you should be putting a T there, talked. Kissed, kissed, sun kissed or kissed, even though there's an ED, it is a T. Parked, parked. So that one would come out like that, parked. Helped would come out, let me see, helped, yeah, like that. Same thing happened to kissed and talked, like that. 
So let's try it out, guys. Talked. Kissed. Kissed. Parked. 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 Helped. 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 Okay. All right. Now, to finish uh, off the rules. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, we're good. We're good. All right. We have the D, the actual D. If the last letter of the word ends in a voiced consonant or a sound, then the ED is pronounced like a D without creating another syllable. So the words that we use are played, closed, opened, and lived. How does that sound? Well, played, right, is the Y and the D. Played. Closed actually sounds like a Z. So you guys should say, you guys should see it or closed and opened 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 uh -huh. and lived right lived lived that, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so now there are two important things to remember two main divisions, right? The words that end in T or D. If you guys see a word and the letter before, a ver, así, before the ED is T or D, then you guys will pronounce it as ID. The rest of the words you can pronounce as ED, and you should be okay. You can also pronounce them with a T, and it will also be okay. Everybody all right so far? Ready for some words? Yes. Yes. All right. Teacher, I have a question. About yes, sir. That. Yes, sir. So I can actually pronounce the word it is um, when I want to make the T sound at the end. For example, in code, I could say cold and they will understand. So that's what that says. The second. Yeah, well, well yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, Ralph. But <laughs> I, want to, I want you to kind of, let's see. So you're saying you're saying the word cold, right? And because you're following the rule, right? Because you're following the rule which ends in a D, how should I can I put the T? Yeah. <laughs> in this particular case, it's actually the, the word D at the end. So there's a letter D at the end. So this one would actually fall on the there was one that we did with the D. Let me see. Let me go back. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. You would actually have to pronounce the D on it. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's the last one. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think it would fall under these, but you would have to pronounce the D. So, it, you would have to say cold. Now, if you say cold, it, it, it would sound like the, it would sound like you're talking about the horse, okay. you know? Because the horses, there's a horse when you, I, I, there's a type of horse, I think, that they called a colt. So I don't think you could do the T in this case. I think it's the context, right? I, yeah, I, you would have to use the D. Mm -hmm. You would have to say cold. cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just the yeah. D sound, cold. <laughs> All right, but good, good, man. Good that you brought that up. All right, let's try them out. Let's try it. We have, we have some here. So we have T, we have D, and we have the id. All right. So let's start off. Let's see. Let's go with, uh, with the purple, and we're going to start off with cooked. 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 Danced. 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 There we go. Typed. 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 Laughed. 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 Scathed. Scathed. Punished. 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 Snatched. 
Snatch. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you what these symbols here mean. These are the sounds, right? So this is the K sound: cooked, walked, talked. Walk it like you talk it, right? Cooked, walked, talked. Whenever you see a letter, I'm sorry, a word, and you see a K on there, then that means that you're gonna that you're going to have to pronounce that as a T. Okay. Uh, let me see. What other what other words have a K? Um, ah, let me see. So we can use like that. Poked. Because there's a K there, my sound at the end has to sound like a T. Okay? And so this is what you guys are going to look for in the words themselves. What sound are we talking about? Right? The S sound for danced, missed, or practiced. Let's try it out. Danced. Danced. Missed. Danced. Missed. Missed. Practiced. Missed. Practiced. Practiced. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the P sound. Typed. Hoped. Hoped. Helped. 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 Okay. And so now think of the word that you're going to pronounce, right? And then remember your teacher and the T sound. Same thing goes for the D. For example, if you guys have a V, lived, then you will pronounce the D. Lived. The M, harmed. Lived. The N, phoned. Harmed. Phone. Called. Phoned. Mm -hmm. Called. Okay. Called. All right. And then the very specific T and D sounds. Voted. 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 Waited. Voted. Wanted. Waited. Wanted. 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 Demanded. Sounded. Demanded. Demanded. Minded. Minded. Okay. Minded. Now, Minded. now Minded. most Minded. of these here, as you guys can see, are consonant sounds. Okay. The Z. The G sound. When you guys say something like changed judged or encouraged okay so now it gets a little bit simpler right and there is a lot of words when you really think about it let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for you guys like that If you have a voiceless sound, then you are going to create a T. And as you guys can see, is the K sound, the S sound, the P sound, the F sound, announced, finished, watched, wished, practiced, developed, the D sound we have for the M sound, the N sound, the L, the R, lived, toured, traveled, rescued, and then the ID, which we use for T and D, suggested, 
voted. And look, look, there's a whole bunch of words that end with that ID. Rated, hesitated, tasted. All right. And that's pretty much it on the pronunciation. Now there's a whole bunch for us. There's, we have a lot of these sounds that we have to work on for your, for your pronunciation to be at 100%, you would really have to figure out how is it that I can voice it out and talk it out. So I want to go back to this one here. And you see the letters, right? Look at the letters that end right before the ED, right? So if it's a T and a D, we pronounce it with an it, wanted. If the sound is P, K, F, G H S H C H S S C or X, then we pronounce it as a T. I think that would be the easiest way to think of it. If you see a word with an X in it, then it should sound like fix it, fix it, right? Fixed with a big T at the end, a big T sound. If the sound has the L, the N, the R, the G, the V, the S, the G, B, or M, then you guys should be sounding the D. For example, when you say offered, offered, I was offered some drink. I was offered a drink. I took zero damaged, right? You can say something like that. And I think that this one is the best example that I can provide for you guys. Think about the word and think about that letter that is right before the D or the ED. And then based on that, you either pronounce the D, the T, or the ID. Huh? What do you guys think about that? You guys like that? I guess the teacher on That's all. <laughs> Un semestre en la U.S. Ah, señores, ¿qué tal? <laughs> que esta U.S. con todo. All right, so that's pronunciation, guys. And today we went over the E, short E, long E, and we did the E-D. So all of this work that we did was just to work on the words that end with E-D because I want you guys to pronounce them correctly. I want you guys to sound like you know. I wanted it. Yes, you did it right. <laughs> I helped. Yes, you did help. I called you, teacher. Yes, you did. You did call me, right? And I want you guys to sound like that. All right. Let me go ahead and put this one away. We have a couple of minutes left, and I do apologize. Remember, that it's okay, though. It's okay. We've been, we've been doing pretty good. Right. If you guys got into module 2.0, how many of you guys got into module 2.0? Did you guys manage to get there already? Yeah. You guys are already there. Okay. So one of the, I think one of the first videos that you guys will see on there are past models and facial models. And I believe it's after obligations. I, I believe that's the name of the, that's the title of the video. So in general, when you guys look this stuff up, it's just about past models because facial models are almost the same thing. It's the same thing, but you know, there, it's a different spelling, I'm gonna say. So, so past models and facial models, facial models are spelled differently but have the same meaning, okay? So the ones that you will see the most are should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to. And so this is how they break down. I want you guys to think of models in terms of what are you asking for? Do you have the ability to do something? Are you asking for permission? Are you asking for advice? Is it an obligation or is this a possibility? Okay. So if you guys are talking about ability, can or could, can or could, 
David can speak three languages. He could speak fluent French when he was five. Oh, can and could. Can I go? Alexander? No, sorry. sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. All right, so whenever, do you guys remember ever asking your English teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And sometimes the English teacher would say, I don't know, can you? Why did he make that little remark? Because can is an ability. There we go, Jose. I don't know if you can. No sé si andas tu bolsita ahí llena y no puedes ir al baño. I don't know what's going on. So that's why they did it, because they didn't know whether the ability was there. Now, then he would make you change it, and then you would have to say may or something like that, right? May I go to the bathroom? Because once you use may, you are asking for permission, permission. right? Permission. There we go. There we go. So can I sit in that chair? Yeah. Yeah, you can sit, right? Could I open the window? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. May I borrow your dictionary? Ah, can I borrow your dictionary? Would that be a good way of saying it? You, you could use it, but somebody you might not. say, there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody might say, no, you may not, right? Just to be, just to be a, a wise, a wise but. All right. The next one is advice, which is should. And then obligations are must and have to. You must do this. You have to do this. You guys have to be careful with how you use must and how you use have to. You have to do something. No, I don't. Because I am an adult. And the only people, yeah, the only people that can tell me by obligation is the police, my boss, and my wife. <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> significant other, man. significant other. Before today. Nobody else. Because if you say, let's say the police tells you, you have to get out, get out of your car. You have to get out of your car. And you don't, what happens? Abogados, por favor, presentes, abogados. ¿Qué pasaría si el policía te dice te tenés que bajar del carro y vos no te bajas? Abogados, ¿qué, qué dicen? ¿Qué cuentan? More than likely something bad, right? Police, your boss, your wife. Your boss, for example, he says you have to finish by eight. Hmm? Is he telling you, is he telling you take a little bit longer? No. At what time do you have to finish? At eight, correct. So these are the examples, all right? Um, I think we're gonna leave it there for now because we're gonna do a little bit of practice in a life worksheet tomorrow. And these are the examples that we're gonna use for practice, okay? I'm gonna give you guys back a couple of minutes. Thank you guys okay. for coming in today. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit more practice where you guys have to voice it out and hopefully you know, hopefully we, we, we are able to get it a little bit more. All right. Thank you so teacher, much. Yeah. I have, yeah. I have a question. Yes, sir. Of course. Can you, can you send that file to the WhatsApp group? You know, George, I try to send it to the group, but it's too big. I can send it to your email. Do you I want do. me, if you, if you send me a message through email, I can send it through you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, George. If you tell me in WhatsApp and you send me your email in WhatsApp, a saber cómo escribe WhatsApp, ¿eh? <laughs> I can then send it to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, all right, no problem. All right, guys, have a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Okay, much. Thank good night. you. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. See you night. tomorrow. Chalo. Adios. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.